Financial decision making course takes two previous courses which were finance and accounting, amalgamates them into one course and brings them into the 21st century. Finance is something you can't ignore, it's, it's the lifeblood of a business. Every decision is in some way, shape or form going to involve finance or accounting. If as a manager you want to make your promotion prospects better, then to have a wide knowledge of finance as well as your own particular specialist skill in the organisation will stand you in good stead. There are three main facets to the course. There's financial accounting, there's management accounting, and there's financial management. Financial accounting looks at the external facade of the business, what information financially the business gives outside to outsiders, to stakeholders, shareholders, banks, customers, suppliers, and so on. We then move on to look at management accounting, which is the internal workings of a business and how it prices its products, which products are the most profitable, which ones it should keep, which ones it should delete, and so on. And then finally, we turn to financial management, which looks at longer term investment by the company, how it finances that investment and what, if any, dividends are paid back to the shareholders. This course aims to look at it from a practical viewpoint rather than a classic textbook approach. Many other universities' finance and accounting courses tend to concentrate on more the mechanical aspect of finance and accounts, whereas here what we're doing is introducing the mechanical aspects and spending a little bit of time on them, but the vast majority of the time is practical application of the various concepts. One of the great things about our course um, is that it's online, it's international, which means that we can actually have forums whereby international students can talk to each other and relay their own experiences in different countries. Somebody, for example, studying in Canada can pick up what things are done in Australia. Somebody studying in Dubai can pick up what's done in Malaysia and so on. I would hope at the end of the course a student can leave with self-belief in, in their own financial abilities. I would hope that they would be confident enough to challenge the financial people in the organisation and have brand new skills in accounting and be able to apply those skills when you're in the workplace on a day-to-day -day basis.